version manager for Windows. I'm going to show you what it looks like, what it does, and how to install it. Okay, let's have a look at it. NVM. So what we can do is we can install multiple versions of Node on one computer and more specifically on Windows. NVM list. I have one version of Node on this computer, 8.11.4. I want another version, so I'm going to do NVM install latest. That will give me the latest version of Node. Here it comes. Okay, so that's installed. To make that active, I can say NVM use 11.10.0 NVM list okay it shows me the two versions of node I have now so I can it says version 11.10.0 is active I can just check that and node slash v there it is that's the version that is active I can also install a really old version of Node, like this, NVM, install 4.9.1. Okay, let's use it, NVM, use 4.9.1. NVM, list. Okay, it says 4.9.1 is active. Let's just double check that. Node V. Yep, 4.9.1. That's excellent. And I can also uninstall these versions. So I'm just going to NVM use the latest first. 11.10.0. And NVM uninstall. Unin install 4.9.1 nvm list okay so i only have two versions and 11.10.0 is still active and that's nvm really for windows now to show you how to install it because that's slightly a bit more tricky if i was to go and search for nvm on your favorite search engine it would take me to this place here, CreationX NVM on GitHub. And I'd read all this and I'd go down and that would look, look amazing. And there's a command to install it. You keep going. And then you get to this point down here where it says NVM does not support Windows. Two alternatives exist, which are neither supported nor developed by us. That's okay. I've used NVM Windows. So let's go to NVM Windows and see what that is. And we should all thank Corey Butler for letting us also do this on Windows. Thank you. So it says this is not the same thing as NVM, which is a completely separate project for Mac Linux only. Well, doesn't really matter. Node version manager NVM for Windows. Here we go. Down here, we have download the latest installer from the releases. Okay, so we click that. And down here, I've installed NVM setup.zip. So let's do that, get that. NVM setup is downloaded now. I'm just going to move that into a folder where I can do a, a checksum on it just to be sure that it's safe. LS. Okay, so I've copied the file. That's NVM setup.zip. Now, the checksum I want to check against is. If I go back and just download that file there, that's underlined, which I already have, and I'll open that up. That's the checksum at the top here. So to verify that checksum, I can write a command in that comes pre-installed with Windows. Search util, hash file, nvm setup.zip md5. Enter. 3b1de1a30. 7507. That's if you want to do the 
check the checksum for yourself. Excellent. And so if you're happy with that, you can then just open up the file, um, double click inside the zip and just run nvmsetup.exe. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe and share.